Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available, so if I mispronounce or misspell a word, make sure you have subtitles on just in case. Also, check out my Instagram page at The Artistic Horseman, where I post wonderful works of art. Thanks for listening, and enjoy this video. Well, it's officially happening. The Michael Jackson biopic is officially in the works, and I am highly skeptical of it. But I'm gonna save my personal thoughts in a future video because there is so much I want to say about this upcoming biopic. But for now, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the upcoming Michael Jackson biopic. So it was announced in February 2022 by John Branca and John McClain that a Michael Jackson biopic was in the works. The project titled Michael will be said to focus on Jackson's most iconic performances as it gives an informed insight into the entertainer's artistic process and personal life according to the deadline. The film will be distributed by Lionsgate, while Sony is said to be joining as a foreign partner. Recently, recently it was announced that Lionsgate has hired famous director Antoine Fuqua, who has worked on films such as The Equalizer Franchise, Training Day, and recently Emancipation. Fuka, who is currently finishing up Equalizer 3, said that he hopes to start rolling cameras as early as 2023, alongside Robert Richardson, who will be directing who, who will be the director of photography. Richardson is known for his works on JFK, The Aviator, and Hugo, which earned him three Academy Awards for Best in Photography. The film Michael will be produced by Graham King, producer of Bohemian Rhapsody. Which, has, which was nominated for an Oscar in 2019. Graham will produce the movie with, with his production company, GK Films, alongside John Branca and John McClain for Michael Jackson Estate. John Logan, screenwriter of Skyfall and Spectre, all, um, already wrote the script for Michael, which is already in, in the hands of the studio. Logan also wrote scripts for Mario Scorsese, The Aviator, and Gladiator. Now, it's not confirmed who will portray Michael Jackson, but sources say that actors who will play Michael in, in his youth and in the off-the-wall thriller eras have already been chosen. Since the film will be focused on Michael's entire life, the search for more actors might still be ongoing. One more thing to add, add is that, that production for the film is scheduled to begin in late, in late 2023 at an unnamed location. The film is still in, in development stage, so we don't have all the information yet. But when we do, I'll be sure to inform you all as soon as possible. Honestly, at first I had my doubts on whether a Michael Jackson biopic would work. My main concern was more on who would, who would portray Michael rather than if the script would be good. But seeing that the film is being worked on by very prominent names in Hollywood and with John Branca leading the Michael Jackson estate in a brighter path, I have somewhat high hopes on the biopic. And I'm curious how this will turn out. We all know that the Michael Jackson legacy is going to live forever. The greatest entertainer who ever lived, to quote Barry Gordy. And we are so excited about the biopic. Graham King, uh, my fellow co-producer, John McClain and me, this biopic is going to be epic. This is the godfather of biopics. People have no idea what's coming. Just get ready. Well, that's the end of today's video. I hope this, I hope this helps clarify any wandering questions on the upcoming biopic comment your thoughts on the biopic and i'll be doing and i'll be and i'll be doing it an in-depth video on my personal thoughts on michael jackson and why a michael jackson biopic probably wouldn't work make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss miss any future uploads as we are close to reaching a thousand subscribers and and check out my instagram page at the artistic horseman where i post wonderful works of art until next time thanks for watching